Hi everybody, my name is Rachel and today I'll be taking you through the second part of the Reflective Practice Paradigm for the Faculty of Science, Engineering and Built Environment. This section will be focusing on developing the reflective learner using the 4 R's model of reflective practice and we hope this will be very useful for second year students. If you've had the time you would have watched a previous video on the stage one reflective practice model which we're hoping will be really influential for first year students and those first starting out to use reflective practice and that's the what model. In this video I want to really focus on the four R's which is a different model for reflective practice and we, we think that it will be more beneficial for those who have already started to begin reflective practice on a regular basis and so therefore aligned with a second year experience in the Faculty of Science, Engineering and Built Environment. So at this point we would hope and expect that students have already practiced reflective practice using the what model and now they're starting to enhance their skills in reflective practice which brings us to the four R's which concentrate on reporting as the first stage and then the second and third stage is relating and reasoning with the final stage being reconstructing. The reason that the four R's are at this point in a second year experience of learning is because we feel that students come to learning in different ways they have different learning styles just as teachers have different learning and teaching styles when it comes to their students. So we want to be able to offer you a range of models that you can choose and adapt to when it comes to your assessment designs. The four R's are very uh, structured and allows a story to be told in a particular way that's quite academic and I'll be explaining that a little bit further on in this presentation. Also in this presentation we'll be using the example of collaboration and group work and how reflective practice using the four R's can help you structure your assessment and the student learning experience to help them gain certain specific skills for employability. Okay so I'm assuming that your students have practiced some reflective practice using the what model in their first year level learning experience and that they're going into their second year and they're starting to really develop those skills as a reflective learner. So using the four R's are quite special because they can help order the students thinking and writing or evidencing their particular reflective practice. It doesn't necessarily always have to be through the written expression, it can be through audio or video or even a mind map, so a creative imaginative way of reflecting their experiences in, in a in a learning environment or a work environment. And the four R's are first to report on what's going on and what the incident might be and then to relate that to experience, emotion and theory and to also reason and ask questions and link that back to the theory and practice as well. And then the, the last stage of the four R's is reconstruction which is when you put it, bring everything together into a conclusion and the students will note the experiences that they've they've had through reflection and looking at how they can change their practice to improve in the future. The best way to explain the four R's is by using an example and I'm hoping that this example you can adapt for your own classroom activities or might inspire you for other ideas you might have for your own students. In this example I'll be looking at interacting with others as professionals in the classroom which uses the four R's as a reflective practice model and employability skills in relation to the developing reflective learner. So say for example you have student groups where they need to meet a client's needs or they need to create a product and you have them in groups and you would like them to practice what it would be like in the real world as professionals. The four R's models can help them understand what's going on in the group dynamics, understand what's going on with themselves and order their thinking and how they're going to evidence 
the learning that's going on and the reflective process that's going on at this point. So first they would start to report what's actually happened, what the situation is, what perhaps is the group's major outcome that they need to achieve, how they will do this, how they will communicate, etc. It's a brief descriptive account of the situation and issue that's occurring in the classroom around the assessment practice. Then secondly and thirdly, these two points are interrelated, is relating and reasoning. This is where the students will make connections between the situation, the issue of their experience, their skill knowledge and the understanding around this. And this can be a combination of personal theory and practice. It is also a place where they reason, where they explain the situation in terms of the significant factors that are relevant to the theory or experience in the group activity. And lastly, they start to begin to reconstruct what's happened and what they hope to achieve in the future if they change practice and develop their skills in areas. So for example, they might come across some strengths and weaknesses and the weaknesses they want to work on to improve in the future. It's this is the place where they start to delve into deeper levels of understanding about the situation and the issue and reconstruct a future practice and further develop their understanding of professional practice. Okay, and so to make it a lot easier for you, I've also placed here in the Prezi an actual breakdown of an example that I just quickly spoke about in the previous slide on assessing students' learning from their reflections using the four R's. And I also have a rubric that is associated with this particular example of assessment, which I'll talk about in a moment. And in your own time, you can come back to this video and pause and have a look at the context, the rationale for the authentic assess task and assessment, um, the artifacts that could be used to evidence this learning and the learning outcomes. And you can feel very free to use this and adapt to your own teaching and learning needs for your students. Okay, and what I find really helpful to support teachers when it comes to reflective practice and what we've all put together as part of the paradigm for the faculty's reflective practice component is different types of rubrics. And this one is specifically designed around the four R's model for reflective practice. And the criteria is set out and you can add the weight as you go and you can also change the criteria but I've set the criteria out here in relation to the four hours model as explained before starting with report and ending with reconstruction and then the level descriptor levels it starts off as high distinction in level four and works its way down and as you can see the wording here changes bet between each of the different levels and you're free to adapt and use what you need here Again, this is just a continuation of the first part of the rubric, which goes on to reason and reconstruction. And again, the weight is something that you will need to place in yourself. And you might want to change the wording depending on how you want to weigh the levels for each of your assessment tasks. Okay, and here we just have the last bit of the rubric that just showcases the exceed standard, meet standards, and the high distinction, distinction to credit, pass, etc which is aligned to the levels and the criteria obviously that the students would have met regarding this particular assessment example. There's also a list of references here that are here because these is what helped me to create this rubric based on the four hours model and please feel free to follow those in more detail when you have the time to do so. Okay, so this leads me to the last slide of this presentation and therefore to conclude, this presentation is focused on the four R's, models for reflective practice as a second year learning experience for students in order to help them develop as reflective learners. We also have other resources as well as videos, so please contact us if you would like any more information and we're very welcome to receiving your feedback on how we can better improve this paradigm for the faculty. Thank you.